Hey guys, what's up? It's Bo, recording at 1280 by 720, hopefully to get rid of the blurriness that was in my past two or three videos, uh, because I was recording at 1280 by 1024 and then rendering it um, to that uh, that resolution. So now there shouldn't be any blurriness, everything should look crisp and nice. Um, uh, but anyway, um, today we're going to be talking about a Firefox add-on called Phoebe. Now, what Phoebe is, is it's a backup utility for Firefox so that you can back up your add-ons uh, and, and stuff like that uh, just in case your computer crashes and whatnot. Now, of course, it's the best thing ever you know the best thing to back up to is always something external that is separate from your operating system just in case your operating system crashes or the hard drive fails or what have you um and i like to back up to flash drives because they're cheap and they're they they do what they are supposed to um now, if you have a hard drive enclosure, external hard drive, you know, you can, of course, you can back up to that, too. Um, but anyway, uh, we're going to get on to the add-on. Um, so, right here, I'm going to click on Menu, Tools, and then I'm going to go... And then I'm going to go to Phoebe. Um, now we're presented with a couple little uh, options right here, but we're not going to get to those right now. Right now, we're going to go to Phoebe Options. And in order to get this add-on, by the way, guys, it, it it's pretty self-explanatory you do a google search f-e-b-e -E, and uh, it, it will be the very first link now as you see we have uh, a couple options right here we have your general options you have directory uh, schedule miscellaneous box.net and info now schedule is really nice um, because you can basically back up without having to do it ma um, manually or do it automatically so uh, this is why this add-on is so nice um, but anyway uh, with the options here you can look at some information about what it is this is um, you have select to back up full pro uh, full, full profile both an alter uh, alternate now I have it at selective I haven't done any of the others I'm just gonna use selective and I'm pretty sure it's I it is default uh, so yeah uh, backup items again you can look up some information if you're confused on what that means I have these both checked um, I don't have anything right here checked uh, user defined backups I really don't know what this does but I'm sure I can find out um, now options now yours will look different than mine I've already uh, ticked some and unticked some uh, like sounds I don't want sounds um, coming from Phoebe um, or I don't want uh, I don't want notifications coming from Phoebe um, so of course uh, with everyone it's going to be your personal preference what you want um, and how you want it now directory uh, as you see here this is not on my C drive the backup des uh, destination is not on my C drive it's not on my um, operating system enclosure it's on my flash drive uh, which is SanDisk and I've already made a folder in um, my flash drive uh, called Firefox backup and if I wanted to select a backup place, I would just click Firefox Backup and I'd click OK. And it's that easy. Now I can also click on View Destination Directory and I can look at the files that are in there uh, at this point in time. Now I'll open up Phoebe again and use timestamp directories again. I This isn't tick for me and I have no idea what it is. Um, but yeah, I, I could. I could check it out. Um, I think I think uh, what it does is uh, it will um, tell what time you uh, you backed up. Um, clear destination directory. Um, no, I don't have that ticked. Uh, schedule. Now you can uh, put a schedule for when you want it to back up. Uh, let's say you are always putting on add-ons. You're you're pretty frequent with that um, you'd probably want to back up weekly now if you're me I ha I would have it at monthly because I I only have um, a few uh, add-ons I and past that I don't really put on anymore um, but at this point in time I have no scheduled backup because I can just do it automatically and I already have it backed up start up and shut down uh, there are some options here backup reminder yada yada um, 
miscellaneous you can clear the Phoebe preferences if you want but I'm not gonna do that verify extension directory uh, I don't know what that does again of course you can click on the little information which is really nice to have if you don't know what that is because I really uh, don't know um, full path to Firefox executable um, you this is where Firefox is launched from um, and it needs to have that in order for the program to work correctly box.net I don't know what box.net is um, I actually have no clue uh, so this is pretty much useless to me and info now info it will show you what version of Phoebe you're running who the author is um, extension is released under the Mozilla public license um, useful links um, and uh, yeah just etc um, now I'm gonna run through a quick uh, backup just to show you how it works and what I would do is I would click on menu tools Phoebe and I would do perform backup and it will do a really quick backup to um, the location that I wanted to and it shouldn't take that long and there you go it's all done and now it will show me as you see it made a new tab it will show me the results of what it backed up um, and I can click on it and it will show me some more information and yeah you know it's, it's just small things like that that are really useful um, it tells me how long it took to back up how many things it backed up and of course what it backed up now if I go to tools and then Phoebe uh, I can restore if I go to restore let's say I wanted to restore a theme from uh, my backup directory I go to restore themes and as you see right here I have the themes I'm gonna cancel this and let's say I want to restore that I go to open and it would pop up right there um, it's similar to if you clicked on it on the web but it's quicker because it's already on uh, a hard drive for you you can do a quick backup um, and yeah it's it's just really really simple uh, I hope you guys check it out after this video um, it will save you a lot of time um, it's helped me a lot but anyways guys I hope you liked the video thanks for watching bye